OLRAC RTI. The RTI management idea was first conceptualized by Dr. Sarah Kroc, who collaborated with Professor David Reed in order to offer an alternative thinking to fisheries management. The core of the RTI management thinking is threefold. A holistic approach which includes biological and ecological considerations. Transfer most of the risk associated with commercial fishing, be it biological, ecological or commercial, to fishers. Simple to apply, simple to monitor and simple to enforce. In its asset, the RTI approach is a time-based input control system where sea time capital, RTI points, can be utilized at different rates. Spending rate is expressed by rectangles of different colors which cover the sea where the vessel or fishing fleet operate. The rectangle colors can be black, high impact, closed for fishing, to blue, low impact, very small RTI spending rate, and different in-between colors to express different impact levels and spending rates. Any time the vessel spend in any of these rectangles costs them RTI points at the rate associated with each color. OLRAC is an electronic logbook which was developed by OLRAC SPS in order to allow for the real-time electronic recording and reporting of fishing data. OLRAC has a vessel unit named OLRAC Dynamic Data Logger, DDL, and a shore-based fleet unit named OLRAC Dynamic Data Manager, DDM. Dr. Amos Barkai, co-owner and CEO of OLRAC SPS, and his OLRAC development team have developed a version of the OLRAC system specifically to manage an RTI-based fishery. The following video is a demonstration of the OLRAC RTI system. The small cross represents Anya, an Irish bottom trawl fishing vessel owned and run by Paddy, a resident of Cork, Southeast Ireland, as was detected by the unit GPS. This is the beginning of a new fishing season and Paddy needs to know two things before he goes fishing. His annual allocation of RTI points and what RTI maps have been allocated to him. These maps determine the rate at which he will be spending his RTI budget whilst at sea. Please note that the RTI budget can be vessel specific, applied to the entire fishing fleet or applied to a group of similar class vessels. The annual RTI budget is allocated by the Irish fishing authorities following a scientific process which takes into account stock state and desired fishing mortality target. RTI budget can be vessel specific or the same for all vessels. The authority has decided to allocate Paddy with 180 RTI points for the fishing season. The number of points is loaded on the OLRAC RTI shore system. The shore unit sends a message to Paddy's OLRAC RTI vessel unit to advise him his RTI allocation for the year. Back on Paddy's vessel, the message from the authorities is shown on an OLRAC RTI vessel unit. When Paddy clicks the message icon, the system automatically loads the number of RTI points he was allocated and it shows on the RTI balance box. Before Paddy can leave the port, he still needs to get his fishing RTI usage map. The diamond mesh cod end is far less selective than the square mesh cod end. Because of this, the authorities allocate two RTI maps to Paddy. One is an expensive map for when he will be using the diamond cod end and one is cheaper for when Paddy will be using the square cod end. The authority sends the maps to Paddy's vessel in the same way they sent him the RTI budget. Paddy then opens the message to receive the RTI maps. By default, OLRAC RTI assumes that unless there is evidence to the contrary, the more expensive RTI map is loaded on the OLRAC RTI GIS unit. The diamond RTI map is loaded on the OLRAC RTI system. In addition to the RTI balance box at the top left, OLRAC RTI has two other boxes on the right. One shows the theoretical number of fishing days Paddy has left at the present rate of RTI usage, and the other box shows the name of the present map loaded on the OLRAC RTI GIS form. In between these boxes is a legend whose colors are associated with each RTI daily spending rate. Paddy can now start fishing, as he has his RTI quota and the relevant RTI maps loaded on his OLRAC RTI vessel unit. Paddy presses the Start Fishing Trip button and the Start Editor Trip. Paddy can fill in data related to the Start Fishing Declaration. Note that many fields are automatically populated by the software. One can see that Paddy has two gear types on board, the Diamond Cod End and the Square Mesh Cod End. Paddy then marks his Start of Fishing Declaration. 
A departure report, DEP, was automatically created based on the UK reporting regulations in this instance. Before the report is sent, it can be viewed in either XML or HTML formats. Once verified, the report is sent. Now that the report is sent, one can see that on the reports node, that acknowledgement is pending. The report has now been acknowledged, and the pending clock has been changed to a tick for positive acknowledgement. Notice the different color rectangles that the vessel is passing through, and the corresponding change of colors of the RTI balance boxes. In this simulation, Paddy has spent one point, and he has 179 points left from his original 180. Please also note that at the present spending rate, Paddy would be left with 89 days of fishing. Paddy now starts a daily activity and opens the Start Fishing Day or Shift Editor. Paddy is ready to start a fishing operation, towing his trawl net in this case. Paddy decides to start fishing, deploying the net with the diamond cod end. You can see that Paddy moved to a green zone which is less expensive. At this new rate of RTI spending, Paddy can carry on fishing for a further 356 days. Paddy now adds some catch to this tow. The properties, species, presentation, grade, packing container, amongst others, of typical catches are predefined and listed so that all that Paddy needs to do is to specify how many boxes he has of each catch combination. After ending the tow or while towing, Paddy can add information relevant to the tow. To add information to the tow, Paddy double-clicks the tow node on the activity tree on the right. There are many pieces of information that Paddy can add to his tow. Fishing depth is an example. Paddy can also add a variety of environmental information, for example the cloud or sea conditions. He can also add freehand notes. Paddy can add an image or video clip to his notes. Paddy saves the changes. Once tow and catch data are stored, Paddy can view them at any time by simply clicking on the tow track. Paddy moves to another fishing area and starts another fishing operation, or tow. This time, however, Paddy decides to change his fishing gear and selects the square mesh cod end. Paddy marks the start of a second tow. Ulrac RTI recognizes automatically that a different, more friendly gear is now used and loads the square mesh RTI map. Paddy ends his second tow. The RTI spending map automatically changes back to the more conservative or expensive diamond map, which is the system default map. While Paddy is fishing, the authorities heard that large numbers of leatherback turtles were caught in certain areas. Leatherback turtle is a protected species and shouldn't be caught. The authorities have decided to send Paddy and other vessels new maps to reflect this observation and to advise him that certain areas are now closed for fishing and others are still open but more expensive. Paddy has sent notification of the change. Paddy sees a new message on his OLRAC RTI interface. Paddy opens the message. His older maps are replaced by the new, more conservative maps, which are designed to protect areas where large numbers of leatherback turtles were observed or caught. The map for the diamond and the square mesh are very similar to the older maps, but now include some additional closed areas, the black rectangle. Paddy should simply avoid these closed areas and maybe other high-cost areas but otherwise can carry on fishing as usual based on the new maps he now has. Paddy is ready to start a third tow. Paddy completes and ends the third tow, which was also his last tow for the day, so he also ends his daily activity and marks it. 
Paddy decides to generate and send the daily fishing activity report, or FAR. Paddy selects the reports to be generated. The FAR reports were created and can be sent just like he sent the initial departure or DEP report. All the reports are sent and are now awaiting acknowledgement. The reports have been acknowledged. Paddy returns to Cork and ends his fishing trip. If one selects the trip node on the activities tree, one can see on the GIS map Paddy's vessel track with three toes. It is clear that Paddy has tried to avoid fishing in the red areas of high RTI spending. By doing so, Paddy decided to fish more responsibly in order not to spend too much of his annual RTI point allocation. Here is the real-time incentive.